right, in this video, this is video number seven of the T's math tips, and we want to find the perimeter of a complex shape. So our directions, find the perimeter of the shape below, assume that all angles are 90 degrees. Now you may not see that sentence there, but more than likely if you run across a problem like this, these corners, all of these corners are 90 degree angles. And that is important to know, but you can just go ahead and make that assumption if you run across a problem like this on the T's test or some geometry test. To find the perimeter of this shape, we need to add up all these sides, but we don't have a measurement for this side here and we don't have a measurement for this side down here. Let's work on this bottom one first. Now the way I want you to look at this for a moment is consider this thing being a rectangle, which it clearly is not, but let's think about that for a second. We're trying to find this black line, this little section right here, but let's look at the entire bottom piece of this red rectangle. That has the same length as this top piece up here. Well, the length of this top piece is going to be five, which is this section here, plus two, which is seven, but then we have this measurement of six, so we have six more right here as well. So we need to think about that to find the length of this entire top piece. This entire top piece here is five plus six plus two, therefore our length up top is 13 feet. That's the distance from here straight across to here. Well, if we think about that down here now, this entire piece from here to here must also be 13 feet, but notice we have a little section right here. Three feet is that, so this must be three feet, and if the entire length across this thing is 13 feet, that means this little black line from here to here must be 10 feet. So taking all of that crazy stuff away, looking at this again now, from here to here, that's 10 feet, and then from here to here, where I had that red rectangle, that's three feet, so 10 feet plus three feet gives us the 13 feet, which is the same thing as the distance from here all the way across. Because remember, we have five, then we have six, which is matching up with that six down there, and then that two. So five plus six plus two gives us 13 as well. There's that missing side. So bringing that red rectangle back one more time, the distance from here to here, that length is nine feet. That means from here down to here must be nine feet as well. Since this section from here to here, that distance is four feet because that matches up with this piece over here, that means this leftover piece here must be five feet, again, because five plus four gives us nine feet from the top down to the bottom, which matches up with that nine feet over there. So taking away that red rectangle again, we have all of our missing pieces, but let's make sure we understand where this five feet came from one more time. From here, to here is five, and from here down to here, that red rectangle is four to match up with that length right there. So five plus four gives us nine, which is the same thing as what we have over here. And it is important, we can do this because all of our angles are nice and square, they're 90 degrees. Every single angle here is 90 degrees. Now that we have all of our sides, we can add up all these sides to get the perimeter. So here's all those sides, and all I did here was start with the five, plus four, plus six, plus four, plus two, plus nine, plus 10, plus four, plus three, plus five. Adding up all that, a perimeter of 52 feet. So when you're approaching these problems and you have these two missing pieces like we had here, you're gonna to have to use a little bit of knowledge of rectangle, so to speak, where we said this entire side was nine, which means this entire piece from here way up to here must be nine. Applying the four, four plus five gives us nine. Same thing for this bottom piece from here all the way across must be 13 because we said this top part from here all the way across must be 13 as well. And there you have it, video number seven, where we found the perimeter of a complex shape. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.